There's been an awful lot of noise lately about black mass in the EV industry. What exactly is black mass and why are people talking about it? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Black mass. It's on the lips of many analysts and EV experts over the last few months. They're calling it black gold, literally. In fact, many people are saying that this new black mass is the new gold rush. The metallic powder is made by crushing and shredding batteries or battery cells, extracting unwanted elements, then refining the remainder. Now, many people think that battery packs just go into landfill. They're polluting the earth. There was a recent article last week from a so-called PhD expert, student, doctorate, whatever, saying that electric cars are worse for the environment than gasoline-powered cars because their batteries are simply going into landfill. Well, actually, anyone who has any idea would tell you that's absolutely fake. In fact, batteries are worth a hell of a lot of money. And a big battery pack, the size of one that goes into a car, aside from the fact that they're often generally used in a second life for something else before being recycled, is still worth a lot of money, even if it's completely dead. So if you personally know of anyone who is just dumping EVs into the rubbish dip, well, go and pick them up. You can sell them and make a lot of money. The latest buzzword in battery materials sounds like a concept borrowed from astrophysics. Automotive News says that black mass is just a very literal description of the intermediate product from recycling either spent EV batteries or scrap from battery plants. It's a dark powdery cocktail of metals such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel that's emerging as a commodity in its own right. There's growing interest in battery recycling as the global EV industry expands and as car makers and Western governments aim to build supply chains that bypass China. Mentions of black mass in company earnings have grown significantly, including recent instances from commodity trader Glencore and chemicals giant BASF. Three market researchers, Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, Fast Markets, and S&P Global have launched regular price assessments of the material since April. So you can actually see the benchmark price of black mass. Not something that most people are aware of. However, it's actually worth investing in because not many people are aware of it. Spent batteries will account for a much bigger share of total scrap supply. There is definitely increasing interest from automakers in black mass right now, said Jezlene Tang, analyst at S&P Global Commodity Insights. Some have already announced partnerships or joint ventures to explore EV battery recycling opportunities such as BMW, Ford, and Mercedes-Benz. Glencore unveiled a plan in May with Canadian recycling firm Lycycle to process black mass in Sardinia, Italy. BASF expects to produce black mass in Germany next year. And last week, an affiliate of trader Mercuria Energy Trading agreed to a joint venture with a US recycler to help sell its black mass worldwide. Now, this is just a small fraction of the trades that have been going on recently. The metallic powder is made by crushing and shredding batteries or battery cells, extracting unwanted elements, then refining the remainder, which is extremely valuable. For now, factory scrap generated in the production of batteries makes up the majority of the input material. We simply just don't have enough batteries that are actually at the end of their usable life because battery packs actually last a lot longer than you think. I mean, for example, the much maligned Nissan Leaf battery, well, Nissan now uses them in a second life for other things, other purposes, energy storage. So even some of the worst batteries you can buy in EVs are still going, and those are old. So yes, eventually there will be a lot of batteries that we can use, but this myth that batteries have a very short life is actually generally very not true. Recycled materials will account for 15% of the global supply of lithium, 11% for nickel, and 44% for cobalt by the end of this decade. But that number will continue to rise, says S&P Global Commodity Insights. Now, recent improvements 
in lithium iron phosphate battery recycling have made it more profitable. In the past, it wasn't as profitable to recycle lithium iron phosphate because there's no nickel and no cobalt in those batteries and no aluminium either. So as recycling has improved over the past 24 months, lithium iron phosphate batteries have gained in value. And also that's been affected by the price of lithium, which has increased substantially over the past five years. At recent prices, nickel cobalt manganese batteries contain an average metal value of 10,000 US dollars for every ton of cells. According to fast markets materials based on LFP chemistry have a much lower value of 4,000 per ton. But is still both very valuable, as you can see. Now, today, Europe classifies black mass as a hazardous material. So not a lot of black mass is being recycled there, but that's about to change. What this means right now is that because of the difficulties around recycling black mass in Europe, because of European regulations and rules and things that don't make a lot of sense, to be fair, a lot of that black mass from Europe Recycled batteries is simply going to China and China saying, well, thank you very much. We'll take all of it. We've got lots of factories in Europe where we can shred batteries to make black mass, but then it's stuck. It has to go to China, said Julia Harty, London-based analyst at Fast Markets. It's a shame as there's so much attention on sustainability at the moment, but yet the red tape makes lithium ion battery recycling much harder in Europe. It's a big advantage for the United States and China. Recently, battery manufacturing has surged in China, but to the surprise, I think, of the Chinese, the same has happened in America. In fact, by the end of this decade, there will be about twice as many batteries as what we actually need being produced for all cars being made today in North America. What that means is, on average, around 16 million cars are sold every year in North America. By the end of this decade, there'll be twice the batteries that we need for every single one of those cars to be fully electrified. That opens up a huge recycling market and Redwood Materials, founded by a former Tesla executive, is putting itself in a position to profit from this new black mass gold rush. Many companies will pop up and I actually think it's really worth us taking a good look at them and saying, isn't worth just investing a little bit of money. Kind of like a penny stock here. You don't put $100, $200. You never know. Here's what I mean. CATL. No one had heard of CATL five years ago. <laughs> Literally no one. Now, they are the most valuable company in China. Even more valuable than BYD. Things change very quickly in this industry. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.